all right you wonderful people mac gamer welcome back to the channel um i'm stoked because we're uh, having another day of uh cyberpunk so i guess uh we played a bit of hell divers in between but uh we're, we're jumping back on to uh cyberpunk and i got my new cyberpunk glasses they just arrived uh aliexpress it looked pretty gorgeous and changed the colors um i had it like at the it'll cycle through the colors but it was kind of irritating because uh, the lights were kind of flash so this is okay get used to this uh left at one solid color um changed a little bit of the camera view uh hope you let me know if you like this better and uh already started the game I've done some tweaking with the GPU settings and the uh, the CPU overclocking and all that. Um, as well as the audio. So let me just check the audio. Audio sync. Yeah. Seems to be fine for now. I'll uh, check the stream again once again to see if everything played out well. And uh, yeah, this is the little minor improvements. Here. Um, the yeah, this stick, this controller is uh, I didn't open it up. I'm gonna open it up and properly try to fix this if I can. But I have ordered a new, brand new controller, uh, with haptic feedback. Believe it or not, there's another um, insane or really nice controller. I think it's called the Apex AG Fly 4 or AG Fly. Apex 4 and apparently it's got haptic controls and everything and it's like one of the fastest fastest controllers out there with all effect sticks so you don't get drift um yeah for now I have to play keyboard and mouse and I have to get used to that it, it's it's kind of difficult but uh learning curve to use keyboard and mouse but I much prefer the you know the the vibrations of the controller you know what i mean i, I kind of i'm used to that but uh you know everything's got pros and cons and yeah more about cyberpunk i think uh what was it yeah we we're doing the missions uh we we're talking where i was uh, unfortunately uh you got wiped out or something in the last mission where we went in and uh you know just to we talked to the daughter of uh, Saburo, Saburo Arasaka, the corporation said that uh, I think his son killed him. So we wanted to talk to the daughter to let him know the real deal. But just to, you know, get, get penetrate all that uh, corporation security and everything. And just have a face to face. We basically ended up kidnapping her. And, uh, you know, she f kind of believed our side of the story. But it, by the time the Ar Arasaka security or military came in and, they, and i don't know i barely survived because johnny took me somewhere and yeah and i was barely alive i don't know um yes follow my other stream check out what happened and uh we did a bit a bunch of side missions we were helping pan 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 and uh yeah we'll see how how the story of pan am another character that's been introduced the the uh girl with the attitude yeah so yeah v did kind of get a little bit cozy with her so you know what I mean i don't know so the story i don't know about that but uh it's progressing and uh but i'm i'm kind of interested to see what happens after takimura is now gone um i don't know if you know if he's alive might be i'm hoping um but he did hint that uh uh jackie's uh, body was taken away by the Arasaka corpse and they, I think they scanned his brain or something so Jackie might be alive in the cyberspace too so let's uh further ado let's uh get back in the game here press this button here hopefully okay screens up let's load the game well as you know this is me just riding the motorcycle around testing different stuff I believe we are yeah this is the uh, this right here is a save from 
the 331 yeah it's got to be this the manual save exactly the other ones are just auto saves all right just Hello, uh, hoping that the uh and you're watching computer WMS doesn't crash or anything new details have emerged on the attempted all right the meat Hanako at Embers. Yeah, Hanako is the, uh... Let's open this up. Journal here. Yeah, Hanako is the, uh... You can see. Daughter of Suburo Arasaka. So. Yeah. She finally... Yeah, she sent in this, uh... Um... Oh, what are those girls that do brain dances over? And she she kind of relayed the ma message to me in the hotel. Um, okay, so meet Hanako at the Embers. Both knew this time would come. If you don't think of something quick, you'll die, and I'll go with you. It's time for our final meeting. Final meeting. All right, so oh, my vehicle because I had learned B. Um, on the other motorcycles, try that. I was, you know, I was riding this around. It's pretty fast. Yeah, I was checking different parameters. Oh, if you look up in the the top right, you could see the uh, different parameters. Uh, this is like the new Nvidia app or something. I tried playing around with the new RTX HDR. Did not like it. I mean, it's still work in progress. What was my motorcycle? You know, it's just playing around with different settings. Um, but I like how the new FPS count, the GPU percentage, temperature thing up there. You know what I mean? Uh, looks a little more clean. Alright, thought I called my motorcycle. it again see it. keyboard and mouse where is it this one oh not this one yeah the usanagi ct3x enter oh, there it is back this up folks that reminds me of the uh the bike in akira that's an anime anime movie Oh, police. You don't want to be touching them. You just touch them a little bit and they start firing at you thinking like you're some sort of criminal or something. Um, sway? I find it really hard to kind of control, uh, you know, like movements with the, uh, keyboard. I'm not used to it or something. Or maybe just the controller is a bit easier. Oh, you received a transfer from Lucy Wizzy? Oh yeah, we did that mission. Claims that her partner was cheating on her. She he was. Apparently wanted to scan her brain or something. Anyways, that's another topic. One of the side missions. One of the many side missions that I've been doing. CPD assault in progress. Neutralize reps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That wasn't the police sometimes, you know. Alright. Why is my gun out now? Holster F. Alright. Draw weapon is alt. Did I press alt? I don't even know. So, I was not paying attention there. I think I had to turn back there somewhere. Watch it. Anyways, what is this? It's like a screen uh, underpass, like a underpass with like a TV screen. Increase the volume here. 
By the way, these are the Raisin Kraken Pro V3s or whatever, and they vibrate. Um, it's an off. Like, the vibration is not good, like, in watching certain things, like videos or something, but in gameplay, oh man, the haptics awesome. Like, you can feel the, feel the sound if I could describe it. Okay, so this is Hanako Towers. And then Palmer's call. Hey, Talk. I have a little longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Yeah. Yeah, why are you calling me? Got a problem you're calling me? I thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come. Am I right? Yeah, can't come now. Can now. Of course. Please be sure to let me know when you're freer. Yeah, there's that attitude again. Off. You get off. Oh, you gotta hold that. Yeah. Got a transfer from Wizzy Wizzy. Let's check our phone. E. Little bonus, okay. How do I select it? Um, you received a transfer and an un effing believable. What a a hole sending your fee. Don't mention it. Yeah, I hope it works out between you two. Okay. else mr. hands bunch of messages I'll look into it later the cyber cycle thing is yes I have so much on my plate right now that I can't deal with these side missions at times um, but we're getting a good 60 frames I could probably improve it I'm gonna shut down one of the uh, OBS screens draws a bit of the power okay Always check over there. It's running. Oop. If that made a difference, we'll see that automatic five, you know, frames right there by doing that. These little things uh, you can do to increase your FPS and I guess game response is not loading. Much of a computer and having stuff running in the background anyway. Um Okay, let's go meet Hanako. This is like the nice part of town. Oh, the rich people here. Who's this? Who's this? To point to no return. When you enter the restaurant, you'll be locked out of all unfinished side jobs and other activities like gigs until all your main jobs are complete. Your unfinished business, settle it before. Okay. Maybe I could go see. Uh -huh. Anna. Yeah. Alright, I'll go see her. Uh, that message didn't pop out. Like I would have, uh, yeah. All right, Pam. Pam. The journal. With a little help from my friends, call Pan Am back. Pan Am Palmer. Okay. Yeah, oh, press P. F to call. Pan Am. Finally. Are you coming? The problem hasn't solved itself. Nor will it. Alright, alright. 
On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? Yep. Tell me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. How far is it? Five miles. A little two way. I think I see uh, one of those teleportation devices right here. So we'll just use this. The destination. Of course, somewhere in the Badlands or whatever they call it. Oh, that's right there at the camp. Cool. They're in a jiffy. Let me check the audio here. Listen, the audio's fine. That was the game audio. Everything seems to be running okay for now. <laughs> All right, let me check. Watch the screen here. Okay, I got all of my chat up and running as well. Anything is the chat bot never showed up. It's weird. I just check back on that. Give me two seconds. Alright, the chat pod is on. Name, command, timers, additional features. What do you like? She puts up a message, but I didn't. Into the nomad camp. Of course. All the caldos, whatever they call them. Though. Every half hour, right. reporting directly to me. V, you're here. Yep. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V. Got come. no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job? The sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No, this discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. Okay. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Yeah. Hmm. You know, you usually. Oh, damn it. V? Yeah, I'm right here, right here. Unusually quiet. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, giving up? Of course not. We'll take the basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. Basilisk? What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Hmm. Guess your idea? Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Okay. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. 
The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Saul's falling, yeah, I don't know that. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Okay. What's gotten into you? Yeah. Well, we're getting along. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. All right, and you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Wait. I wanted to talk with the... So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the other. Let's there was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, mm. we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it yeah, I wanna, right I wanna talk here to Saul. in Where is he? Thank God we still have water. Where does he usually hang out? Come on, V. We have a to-do list. Yeah, I know. Let's explore the camp. There he is. Damn it. All right. I want to talk to him. Um, might have to go back. Load game, I guess. 52. Was that? Ooh. 47. All right, let's go back here. And yeah, this should be far enough. That's the, that's the time that I just entered the, uh, the camp. There we go. No, the rest will stay here in camp. V, you're here. What is yeah. he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all. Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in you front. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. Okay. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Fuck you. Hmm. Wonder if he does talk after that. I don't know. Where are you going, buddy? I look like a WWE wrestler. Talk to me. Huh. Okay. I guess he can't talk, huh? 
That was the only little bit of talking you could do to him. Alright, all right, we'll fast forward here. What's this basilisk? It's an armored mill. Yeah, yeah. They want to pedal it off to a. The Militech. How far is 2077 from alone. now? What was it 2024? So it's like 50. 53 years from now. Do you think the world will look like this? 53 years from now? Well, maybe some old um, turbines like wind farms. Yeah, but I mean, Japan's kind of like cyberpunk. So yeah, who knows? But the world might be like this you? in 2017. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like the family is okay. All right. Cassidy. T yeah. Yes, what's the plan? Any plan? Thanks. I haven't said I'd help. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. All right. I'll follow you guys here. Here. It's this newspaper. On a roll. What's that? So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't They're bother asking with others. The enforcement there was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Okay. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? Oh, no. They'll make better use of it right here in America. Whoa. Who's this? Panzer? Huh, but Panzers are German tanks. Guess they're in the future too. I'll take this. Thank you. Oh, they got like bonfires in the day too. This, this dude and his goggles doesn't have much chrome on her. Barely any chrome I see on this girl. So maybe the nomads are against chrome. Oh, yeah, I mean, this guy doesn't have chrome. Ah. You need to have goggles, maybe. Oh, this guy's got hands. Maybe some of them served in the military. Whoa. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost hurt myself. Alright, alright. Oh, bad ass. Stop goofing around. Can't help it, man. Just trying different stuff. Wow. Did the, you try to get Saul on board? The graphics again? are really good. No luck, huh? No. And Saul is okay. 60 frames Everyone per listen. second. Like Militech the highest settings the while streaming. Parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. It's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need, coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sounds fishy, but yeah, I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Be just with the glasses here. I'm not used to it. Riding with? Are you riding v? with? Yeah, sure. 
Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech oh, it's her own truck thing. this time. Cool. I, I like this vehicle. Me, Bobby? Okay, okay. I remember we, I used a turret out. with the drones and everything. When we, you were trying to use EMP that kind of worked. Oh, it's right outside. Now what? Let's go. Oh, right through. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. Well, the better uh, to make a good second up ahead, it's too bright right now. Suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah, it took some time adjustment yeah. for me. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. Yeah. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I'll remember that. Yeah, I off. This place. Desert. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the this basilisk go on its way. Yeah. Ride. Then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. It's pretty cool. Saul would be on board with that. What's that? Fuel my fire. Are we ready? We got these skeleton horses. Mind you, I haven't seen okay. the only the animal I've seen so far is a cat. From Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Yeah. Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Train station. You roll Combinat? Was this from Russia? Over the Ural Mountains? Hmm. Look pretty nice, right? Got like these two guns mounted on it. Don't know what that is. Seems like another rocket launcher thing, maybe? Mortar. Sweet ride. Read right. the opening line. No, and for a lovely thousand page ride. What you doing? I mean, just listen. When <laughs> what are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. Well, Teddy is just being dead weight. Hmm. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. Hmm. Some wise words, cowboy. Um. Always wax philosophical when you drink, yeah. Drinking always breed deep thoughts. I just feel like people expect some motivational bullshit from me. A goal, a love, and a dream. What breed a real man? Truer words, brother. 
any of this goes south, you know Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. He thinks he cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. didn't take her side last time when she left the clan. Why? Because last time, Pan Am was acting a damn fool. You thinking she learned something? She's smarter? Yes, she left. Learned a few things. Managed on her own. I knew when to come back. People like that are worth a lot more than those who plant their asses in one spot and do as they're told. Hmm. Well, buddy, you drunk? All right. Anyways. All the caldos. This is Pan Am struck. Eat addict. Okay. Um. Eat addict again. I mean, it's relatively simple. Need a hand? Of course, but in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Okay. Watch through the door. Come on, there we go. that was quick. Talk to the nomads, optional. All right, I did talk to them. There's the rest of them. That one. And I talk to everybody. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Uh. Yeah, no. Uh. Legacy tech? Yeah, I need to upgrade that. So. Inventory? What do I. Character. One. Eight. I know, I definitely gotta increase this. Anyways, I'll leave it out for now. Yeah. Oh, did it crash? Damn it. Game just froze. Give it a second. The FPS is stuck at 133. I think when, they, when you open up the side screen, the FPS is shot up, and uh, that kind of probably. Damn it. Alright, folks, let me start this again. Great, now you can't even close it. Might have to hard shut it down. What I mean by that is uh the control panel. Where is it? to close it and an error report all right I'll give it a second and uh, we'll reboot 
this is just part of PCs, I feel. I was playing this on a console. I don't think it matter. You're just locked into whatever it is. And it doesn't crash as much. Thinking 94%. All right. Way. Good morning, Night City! Good morning, Night City! Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy... Alright. We've seen that intro enough times. Continue, let's we'll see where, uh... Yeah, might have to... Repeat hello, some hello. stuff. I'm Arif Iqbal, and you're watching Okay, WNSU. the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. Sure. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Mandy, 55. Hi, my friend. Fantastic stuff. Okay, Lily and Jerry broadcasting. let's get to work. In order, in order to go to partner stage arena f affiliate status, uh, more viewers. Discord, another Discord invite. I don't have Discord, man. <laughs> Ooh, man. Just haven't made a Discord count yet. That's true. I don't have a Discord account. to the nomads. I know I talked to these guys. So... Any of this goes south. You know Pan Am? Do you, do you see... Or that. I'm just... Hey, things... I think you want to use Pan Am to get rid of Saul. Listen, V. You know what makes a good leader. Not some cliched adages, that's for sure. The ability to overcome adversity, solve conflicts within the clan, trounce efforts to undermine your authority. Meaning you're putting Pan Am through the nomad school of hard knocks? Breeding a good clan leader? Pan Am? I was thinking of Saul. Pan Am is a goddamn pain in the ass. It just happens that's exactly what Saul needs. Hmm. Okay. Enough talking to these. All right. So, was... Well, hello there. Hello. You come to make yourself useful. Useful. Uh, no, I'm just here to talk. Nope. Just uh, here to talk. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked for help. Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, you can she calls see her face you. when she talks. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So I think we did a mission together, I think. Hmm. Maybe I should sit here. 
came here to be useful, but... On the be else up there, yeah. Two blokes inside. There they are. Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face. Remember all when we first met, you almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain? <laughs> Something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor is damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Okay. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. Just talking to them help. What up, Pam? Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. You mean like this? Huh, that was quick. Yep. We're just from all these fights. The unification of war from Gongs. Okay. Read that. The Unification War is the most recent armed conflict to take place in North America since the collapse of the United States collapse. Now it's the war between the new United States, okay, and the governments of the free states, okay. Uh huh. Most scholars also call classify the conflict as a corporate war. Well known that the NUSA was backed by Miltech hardware personnel and other resources, whereas the free states received significant yet pay packet support of the Arasaka Corporation. Unification War is also sometimes referred to as the Metal War. Metal War is in reference to wide use of armored cavalry units, so called Panzers. Okay, good to know that. The bloodiest battle in the Unification War was the Battle of Ridgecrest. In one day, at least 3,078 uh, people were reported killed. North California and South California were opposite sides of the war. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh man, SoCal versus no, no Cal. Okay, allied with free states and NUSA respectively, while Night City maintained a position of neutrality. Cool. This this is actually, I think I don't really read these, but this this one's kind of interesting. Uh, the Unification War ended when all parties signed the Treaty of Unification in Arvin, South California. Both sides claimed victory. The free states emphasizing that they had preserved their independence and NUSA boasting that they were closer than ever to reunify a divided American people. The end of the Unification War, however, was not an end to the conflict at large. Uh, the leading AI catalytics analytics software predicts another hot war will likely break out but 2080, three years from now, 2077, 74%. Yeah. I know the state of political affairs in uh, Cyberpunk 2077. No Cal versus uh, SoCal. <laughs> That's hilarious. American prophecy? Okay, let's read that. The terror answer. I'm an orc. Uh, this is it though. Yeah, I kind of like 
glance through them, but that that history is kind of important. So now you kind of know the history of what's happening around us right now. But not all these readings. I crystal decanter. Girl, sure, take that. Cause I'm a junk hoarder. Counterfeit documents. Sure. Take those. Scan around. This up. Euro dollars. The dollars and euro become one currency and they call them euro dollars in the future. Interesting. Coming, coming. Just looking around, you know. I like to explore stuff. What's that? What a junkie. Cockroaches? Oh yeah, the only animals uh, around. Mostly Mention cockroaches. Already connected. Got a little oh, help one from cat. yours truly. Akimura claimed it was like a blonde bonico or something. But ba ba back in the, on, I don't even know how to pronounce it now. Like a like a ghost or some sort of a sign of uh, somebody coming back from the death, the guardians of death. Anyways, Akimura and his stories. I didn't really get to see Akimura much in action, though. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free, like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Cargo locomotive, the Ural, Ampenut, 100 tons, power 12,550 kilowatt, reactor count, so it's got a reactor, wow, nuclear power trains, damn, right, Russians of the future building it, Ural, Combinut. Would you help me look? Sure thing. It's beautiful outside. You like, at least you could like kind of see like, um, I don't know if dreaming it bloats up the light lighting, but um, lighting looks all tolerable and pretty accurate right now. But when when I was playing around with the RTX uh, HDR, whatever the new feature, okay, it must be yeah, it just didn't work. Wait. Overbrand this stuff. Find the punch card. Okay. Sure. This? Nothing here. Well, you could actually leave it on. It's a button. Apps? Yeah. Apps just Nothing leave it here. on. It is a nice feature. I think this feature is missing in the controller. Like, keep your vision on. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Nada. Right down there, but let's uh, play around here. Can you touch it? No? Oh. I take this. Punch card instructions, okay. Read these. Each position on the card responds to a unit of information, blah blah blah. When 
Gently inserting the card in the reader, please remember to do the following. Check for any damaged punched holes which may corrupt the reading. Make sure the cards are inserted in the proper order. Double check that the card description matches the data encoded on it. Okay. Got some information in regards to that. Oh. Way faster. Eat it. Here. Thing. Whatever. I'll take this. And use the computer. You gotta press F. Hold F. Holding the factory. All employees will be required to return the equipment as well as access cards. Ermok, you really leaving? Blah blah blah. Yep, I'm leaving. That's stuff on the desk before you go. Wild. What the heck is this? Right? Net. Yeah, let's check the auto fixer. So it's no as far as I get by. I think I'm digging the coyote. I think that's what the one they have down below. Don't they don't look like it? And these are pretty. They don't look as good as the coyote. Except for this vulture. Unlock the Herrera. And of course, bought this already on. I'm gonna try to get this one. Nazare. Pretty cool. Like the rims that light up. Other. Or I might buy this for the race. Anyway, so. Don't wanna be doing too much of that, cause last time if the computer froze. What's this? Nomads for thick skinned? What the heck does that mean? Uh, the biggest lie. Bandied. Bandied around is that being a nomad is a job, it is not the lifestyle. Why the nomads organize themselves? Sure. People justifying why you're nomad. Freedom. Nada. First net name was Art Moss. Hey, everyone knows who destroyed the first net. Real question is why? Okay. So I'm scanning that. Thing they disappear. Anyways, keep going.
crashed again. Thinking, because I think interestingly, the game does kind of like save itself at certain points, auto saves, and then it syncs it with the cloud. And then I, I don't know, it's way back, but you never know. Hope I don't have to talk to the nomads again. these glasses and the uh, goggles, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Let's freeze again. What? Come on. Heard it. Like the settings seem, everything seems fine. I don't know what's up. What? Maybe the GOG program shut it off. See what else is running in the background that's serving everything. I'm gonna do the screen. Or run it off the NVIDIA app. Maybe that's a better idea. Oh. Cyberpunk. Pretty sure I have like the settings turned off. Yeah, everything's off. Hmm. 
Okay. A second here. And continue. Yeah, hello, hello. Alright, at least just saved it. Where I needed it to be? Second. Green shows up, not showing up. There you go. How do you bolster the weapon again? Is the holster you? Yes. I. No. Oh. See that? That freezes the freaking computer. Just opening up menus. So weird. Gotta be like a setting that I messed up. Now you gotta redo this again. Anyways, sorry about this, folks. Sir, troubleshooting. I'm having a difficult time today. The game run. Task manager. Did I just restart the computer? No. Well, start it up one more time. I changed one of the settings for like the temperature or something. But we'll see how this goes. If the uh, settings are proper.
Anyways, seems to be running fine. Try this one more time. Green. It didn't throw as high. Maybe I would have fixed it. Hello, hello. I'm Arif Bob, and you're watching WNS News. Okay, we're back here. What was that? Or D sounds. So if I go back to the menu again, let me check the settings here. Did I f screw this up? Video. Oh yeah, let's turn this off. Why? Oh, sorry, folks. I think this might have been the issue right here. Okay. It's already limited the frames FPS um on the NVIDIA graphics driver, so you don't need to do it here. Maybe that was like the issue was. Okay. Think of back in business. Alright, one more thing. I need to see the uh keys controls basically scheme or is it the bindings the yeah, key bindings bolster weapons bravo go all right hurry up we wasted enough time around look around here this one what is this Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard of what? The con? You um, join the one of 12 proud or what locations? Okay. You meaning like the. Okay, folks. That thing that I had, you know, limited the FPS or something? Maybe that was the issue. Because I don't see any dips or anything right now. Working great. I can tell right now, like, I don't know, something was off earlier. Alright. I just do a full, full circle and, uh, not know what just happened. We're gonna go down here to look at the punch card. This? Huh? I'm gonna go here. Ten meters down that way. I mean, that's the punch card. That right there. to that it's this but it might be on top of it or it might be below us like down there so hey much guard but how do I do that <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here folks maybe I'm just dumb
All right, you know what? Walk with the goggles on, I guess. Well, the problem is you're kind of limited as like a slow walker when you have these on. Can't move fast. Five hundred dollar reward for Anna. Good to know. Oh, there's another room. Okay. That's the tower. New threat. Look at this. Right here, put the card. Weird. Anyways, maybe it's downstairs. I don't know. I'll go down. I mean, it might be right there. Now it's telling me like it's... Hmm. That is so weird. The game just... It's, uh, it's like freezing and all that. Like it... Ah, this is getting annoying. Literally telling me that thing right there. It's a... Uh... There's a punch card. How do I take it? See it there. F. That didn't do anything. Yeah, I did a zillion times. You know the buttons are kind of close to each other. See that instead of tab, I kept keep pressing escape. Anyway, use the computer again. something to do with the uh see this what, what do i do with this this data seems like 
we took there. Punch card, I'm trying. Ow, you tell me. Or do I just talk back to maybe I just it's a matter of just talking to Pam again? Where's she? Success seventy percent, seventy one percent. I think it's wrong, man. Why can't I scan this? You know what I mean, right? Freaking hell. It's like a, the game glitched or something on me. This is taking way too long compared to what it should be. scan or something. I'm supposed to press some button here or something. See? The card is right there, man. That's the punch card. Why can't I grab it? That's the problem. Like, I don't know. I think that's the punch card right there. 
It is. Why can't I grab it? Melly. Damn it. Can I grab it? Oh, crash again. Hey, hello. I want to offer you promotion. Else uh, offering a promotion again. And of course, crash this game again. I think I might, I don't, I'm gonna restart it a little behind because I, I think it was a me doing this glitched the game and I can't pick up the thing. That's what it is. This here for next for this time. I feel like a glitch in the game, and the game is kind of like crashing there too. Cyberpunk. A really big demanding game. off from here. Hello, hello. I'm Arif Iqbal, and you're what? Find the bunch card. I 
walking slowly. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Not here. Nothing here. There we go. Now you can take them. Well, well, well. I don't know why I couldn't take it before. Like, you, you know what I mean? It was a glitch in the game. And that's why I kept crashing and everything. And I kind of knew because I couldn't even scan stuff like this. This stuff was like unscannable as well. Like I was trying to scan this and it wouldn't let me do it. Like this. Got something. Good job. nothing nope stop is sparking it worked come on moving all right moving little Where engine that could no little engine that could I don't know if you read that book it's Classic children book. V, I wanted to speak with you. Yeah, what do you want to talk about? What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish because I asked you to help me, but why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. Somewhere. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Don't feel any impulse one way or another now? Shame. Why different to me? Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. All right, another little romantic moment there. There, Russell. What's that? Maybe hey, just want to say thanks for the last talk. Um, yeah. Don't worry about it. Got your back. Make sure Samson's tuned her. Nurse about the race. Be a bartender that uh, we race with.
Okay. Join the nomads. And Convoy. below. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Game seems to be running okay. Is. Not a babysitter. Uh -uh. A lot. I don't care what's going on between you two. I'm just asking. And give me a straight answer when you see your teller I'm looking for. Roger. Of course, like, found out, like, taking half of his plan or something out here. Uh, intercept Panzer. Get some equipment for the Nomad. One thing he doesn't want to do. Let's just play it safe. Alright. We could still check. your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. That's pretty nice. That uh, will fire going on. All right, can I sit? Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait then. Talk to the veterans, okay? You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Eh? Ah, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Hmm. Drink to Scorpion, yeah. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. A scorpion. And a Jackie. Okay. Talk. Don't talk about the war much. You don't talk about the war much. Yeah, they'll see talk about the war. What's much. there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking I died like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. My beer. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. Not true. 
But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. All right. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Oh, the mattress just left there. Okay. And the vehicle. Okay. Kind of sounds electric. All right, she's moving. Get her up to speed. Good train. Check out. Shoot the train car couple. Where where? Hey, shoot out the damn coupler. Alright. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Use a gun. Okay. Run, 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 boys. Move that ass, Teddy boy. Come on. Come on, oh. Four, no, five. No, it's blocked. Damn it. Not the gun I want. But here. How do I change my gun? Don't know what to do.
I guess it's getting interesting and all of a sudden crashes. Come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. All right, let's do this again. Make some money. Oh, well, usually I just take the guns and I sell them. Sometimes I come across some good weapon. I just keep it.
It's the Panzer. A lot of components, not really much weapons. Okay, get in the vehicle. Here. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Wouldn't it have been that easy? I don't know. Gonna run over there. Bodies, I guess. <laughs> Escort the truck. It worked. <laughs> of course it did. Just as I said it would. Yeah, but uh, I'm sensing uh, something bad's about to happen. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. I wonder if somebody's following us and they'll follow us to camp. Or the camp's been taken down. Okay, I just lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing if you ask me. I don't like this uh, wind turbine farm area. Looks pretty beautiful. All right. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Meet with Saul. Don't look too happy. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. Yep. The WWE wrestlers here. It's coming into the ring. Was that? Roman Reigns. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! You know. As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Yeah. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems to still be in fine work and order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Okay. It's nice doing that, uh, brain robbery, I guess.
Put some more weapons here. These guys are trying yes. to need some weapons. Rode. Doesn't seem like you get a lot of customers, huh? True, but I get by for my regulars. Well, how's that? They buy a new iron every week? They bring them in for repair. The sand, it gets into every opening, every little crack. You gotta take them apart, air blast them every once in a while. If you don't, well, might eventually find yourself wishing you did. Yes, you want to see what you got in stock. Browse to your heart's content. I got like gold plated stuff. Way too expensive. So oh, I'm just gonna sell them stuff. So, uh, like this. So, um, that. This. Yes. Currently equipped. Oh no, that's the American one. Okay. Uh, Majesty? Nope. So, which shotgun? This one. Yeah, this one. This one. Oh, I'll keep the rest. I think I picked up some knives too. Use leather combat, ammo both, and then Let's go back to inventory. I don't know why I'm wearing a suit right now. I don't need for that. There we go. Kind of looks like me now. <laughs> oh, that's a joke. With the goggles. Or man, like, up with this game crashing. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Restart the game again. That's all we could do. Getting annoying. <laughs> See, like, something that's wrong on my end. Doesn't seem like anything's wrong, but. What we can do is like keep restarting it. I don't know. I'll have to look into the settings again to see why it's because I did tweak the GPU, CPU stuff, so I might have messed with something. I did download the new yeah, I did download the new NVIDIA drivers, so Maybe that's messing it up or something. Regardless, the game should be optimized for this, so...
Good morning, Night City. Hello, hello. I'm Arif Iqbal, and you're watching W. No, no, let me see my inventory. Let's sell the stuff. Oh, yeah, I sold them stuff. Alright, it's not. Going easy into the tank. Back. I was changing the outfit. To look like, you know. I was saying he looks like me now. It's like, look at this. <laughs> The goggles. Alright. Where is this? Oops. There we go. Looks better. I don't know why the game crashed last time. Like, that's like freaking makes no sense. Like, what the heck's going on? Okay. Alt R. There we go. CPU, CPU, everything like these are temperatures, everything's under control. Why is it crashing? Eats me. Alright. Open up the journal, see what other stuff I can do. If I open this mission, then it said I can't do the side missions or something. Meet Judy on the clouds terrace in early morning. Someone said no man ever steps in the same river twice. No clue who said it, but it's smarter to do now. There's lots of rivers in the world, most of them are toxic, but whatever. Places you could explore instead of stomping on the same old grounds, lots of uh lots of joy house. What's, what's this one it's got that the others don't? Yeah. I don't know that Elizabeth Parker passed away, but follow up on that little mission there. Side quest or I didn't know there's little kids in there. Oh, the kids got like these nice cyberpunk implants or pies. Cool. Yeah, I think the problem is if you look here, the like the frames jump to really high rate once you open up something like this. And then when you go back, the, uh, I think the, the system gets overloaded when it has to process the visuals or something. I don't know, that's my theory, but... Looking at it, seeing if it's gonna crash or anything. No. Seems fine. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, like, you know, this stuff just settles out. It's a matter of, you know. Say it's got the right to bear arms, Second Amendment, in the future as well. Healy oil and freaking vitamin C. The news. Go watch the news. Nah. On. You take a blow up doll, remodel the hole, and, and that's cheap. That's infidelity. Uh, no. Well, how's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Cause the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Mm. 
Meat, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be late. Damn, man. You listen to their guys talk, man. It's just hilarious. All right. Clouds, terrace. The heck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That back. Wait. There we go. Hostile area. What the heck? Where the? Is that the way? I don't recall that without coming out of this way. Why is it telling me like it's a hostile area? Uh, Doctor Avic and Vado. Interesting. What? What is that? Battery steer. Here is in dire straits. Blah, blah, blah. Hey. Oh, thanks. I think I'm a junk order, but you know, certain stuff I still wouldn't. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Hmm. Tell me something more about her? Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her. Don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. Yeah. Here is your hustle, what? So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How you aim to bring her around? How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. Yeah. I've a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Yeah, we need to get revenge for Alan Parker. Okay. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Okay. Why are you taking so long? Nervous? Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Ooh. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never fail to lower my expectations. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Hmm. Wait. Let me go to the journal. Sorry, character. Damn it. Oh, two perk points? Attribute. I wish I had one more attribute. All right. You have no idea how valuable my time is. Came the clouds for info, left with info. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? Should try it sometime. Compromises take time I just don't have. 
Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? That all you're good at? Blowing hot air? Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? So? Well, can't ever rule violence out. You two done bickering over Diddly Squat. Cause if you are, I'd like to get down to biz. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Literally in moments, security will figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And don't get me wrong, Jude. I'd gladly sit and catch up. Been quite a while since we last talked. But you're not safe here at Clouds. Especially not with him at your side. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. Don't know what all that was about. Oh, playing get rich today. Okay. Breaking stuff. Cool. First and most important lesson, you and only you are responsible for your situation in life. Don't wait for the government to take pity on you. Oh, damn. All right. Don't wait for your loved ones to lend you a helping hand. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. I know what you're going to say. Unemployment is at 34%, but so what? What's stopping you from starting your own business? Oh, that's quite the sell there, huh? It's that damn simple. That's what's, what's that? You say you need an education? So educate yourself for Chris Christ six from now on. I don't want to hear any excuses. What matters is you can be rich too, but you have to want it for that. You have to work for it. So stop complaining, get rich today. I mean, whatever that was, I mean, sounds legit. Assortment of high quality makeup products. All right. This. Can you take the makeup stuff. No, oh, this is makeup. Okay. Use the computer. See what's going on. Thanks and sorry. Thanks for the date. You're a nice girl, but it's not gonna happen. Please don't take this personally. Welcome to the elite service. Blah blah. blah. The third time I'm taking it. Take back your precious sweater. I don't have space. Cross the line today. Hmm. They already have some sort of conversation. Duty to this, I miss it. I'm just skimming through this. Oh. 
Through again? Nope. That was like one of the. That went smoothly. Yeah. She didn't even let me make my point. Hmm. I need time to think. Probably needs time to think. Couple of days tops. And you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. Okay. Now where? No future. Oh, but this is the future. We do have a history. Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Yeah, I read the emails. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planning and knifing you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, nope. me and the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. When I press shift, she runs us. I guess. Okay. Punch the ground floor to get out of this place. I really don't understand well, hello, what Johnny. tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. The second you react with your dick, steady your head. You give them exactly what they want. Does it look like I give a shit? <laughs> Doesn't matter. They already flushed one down your brain. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny. Why well, you shouldn't talk to me? <laughs> To Judy. Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. I might give up that. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V. I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. 
How many eddies it'll get you? Art yeah. and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Yeah. What do we do now? I don't know. Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Okay. Something's totally going down there. Um. I knew it. That's gonna rain. Okay. See what else we could do. Man, there's a lot of stuff. Seems like the PD's taken an interest in a neighbor of yours. Even sound like they knew each other. Will you assume the mantle of concerned responsibility to ask what's going on? Hmm. Alright. Up to Barry. I think I was my neighbor or something. Maybe just teleport fastest way. Yeah. Uh, we were right there. It's my neighbor. I have to check up on on Barry because uh, I think police were doing a check on him. Or he was an ex. Or he yeah, is a PD. Or police officer. Yes. Uh, where are you going to go down? Yeah. Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Yeah. I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course, until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. Damn, nice place, huh? Hmm. Just living like a normal cop, I guess. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, two? Wait. This is about Andrew. They, uh... Told you about him. Yeah. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. Well, you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I've thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? 
In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive? If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Find Andrew's niche before talking to the cops. What? Wait, wait, wait. What's his niche? We'll find it in niche. You know what the worst thing is about this place? Wait, wait. No, the fucking smell. Thirty-five meters this way. Oh, it's telling me where the elevator. Okay. The Second Amendment gun range. a breakthrough to fight against multiple sclerosis. Ooh, they found a cure to multiple sclerosis in the future. More cyberware, I guess. Cyberware cures everything. So how far is this place? Alright, that's on my ride. It's actually far. On my favorite ride, Jackie's motorcycle. Oh, I know. V the big race. Okay. Can't wait. Whole city will be watching. Starting lines and charter here, over overlooking North Oak. Clicking you the records. Call me when you get there. Just uh, airing my dirty laundry, what? Okay, can't stop thinking about this, so I'm just going to unload it on you here. You can't ignore if uh, it, you wish. I've had it up to here with souls. Paul, does he truly think family will be better off selling its soul to the corp? I've never seen someone with the head so far up that there you can read that. Nothing about this is going to end well. And don't get mad. Maybe dealing with those corporals ain't the worst thing. Getting along alright with one myself. Takemura, pretty chill and honorable tune. Not all corps are monoliths. Some of their peeps can be decent too. Yeah, got no love for corporals either. And I probably have more reasons than you. Had the displeasure to meet one recently. Takemura, slimy F. Effer, like the rest, mouthful of platitudes. Trust me when I say I hear you. I don't think I was. Oh, Takuma is a good guy. So, hmm. back and forth. Cyber psycho. What the heck? V, there's a cyber psycho in the Badlands. As far as I know, no one's claimed responsibility. What the heck is cyber psycho thing? Here? No, no. 
We're not doing the race. We're doing... In... Berry thing. Where's Berry? I think that's the problem. We kind of find Andrew's niche. Yeah, there we go. Which camera? Two. There we go. Driving in the rain is like, you know, I don't really like it. Like, honestly, in the reality, <laughs> driving in the rain is, uh, totally sucks. But, it's part and parcel of motorcycle life. Sometimes just run into it. Um, that's why I had to keep wet weather gear on me. So I don't know how... Whoa! Just looking at him. It's pretty cool. Is this collar like uh, glowing or something? That's pretty cool. The jacket collar. I guess in the future they don't wear helmets, so maybe your head is like armored with cyberware and uh, titanium lined or something. Yeah. You don't need a helmet. Slippery. Whoa, whoa. That was both fault. We haven't had a crash in the game too. That's weird. That is like crashing quite often. <laughs> Should have stabilized itself. The problem is sometimes you know just restarting your computer refreshes everything, but I can't do that in the middle of the stream. Where are we right now? Oh, I remember once coming for the Devil Main Taxi. I came up here. Devil Main Taxi missions. Oh, there's something going now. All right, let's find his little niche. Whatever that was about. Get off here. Seems to be bops here. Look at these corpos. Hello. Huh. Taking a selfie of what? In the yeah. rain? Whatever you want. Wish, wish, get... This place. Hmm. Memorial? Okay. Wait, wait. Resembles a major arcana turret. Temperance. Ooh. The arcana tarot card of temperance. Alright. So, is this where uh, his buddy's buried or something? Talk to these guys? Uh, are you looking for someone? Mm hmm. Maybe I'll just uh, keep it on. Maybe this one?
Yeah, I don't even know what to scan. Hmm. Hope it's not another glitch. I like, uh, mean, searching forever and then, like, you know what I mean? See, 10 meters. Lizzy Wizzy. V, need your help. Same spot as last time. Don't make me wait. Yeah, what's what going is on? it? Hello? Lizzy? Shit. All right, just keep searching. Within the box, so. That? What the heck, man? I don't know what to look for. Found this arrow card, that's about it. Got the climber. I mean, it's scanning stuff, you know what I mean? Talk to this guy? How's it going? Um... Okay, but... <laughs> I'm trying to find... Andrew's niche, whatever that is. I don't seem to be able to find it. Alright, let's just walk away and then see what happens. It's 30 meters, 25 meters. This? Is that like a puzzle? What does that mean? There's six. Wait, 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 wait. This. Dear Russell, his friendship was an inspiration. It's love a blessing? Where? I didn't see anything else. Like, that thing wasn't there before. Maybe something like that. I gotta find on the wall here. This? Huh? I didn't want to make it that easy. Oh, yes, something like just on the wall. Like this. Oh. What up, Johnny? I'm getting close. Oh. In loving memory of my best friend, Andrew. You were a tortoise, but you listened like a person. You were with me when Grammy explained. What was right? 
You're the last memory of a better world. So peace. You are standing in a place of insurance. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. No, you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. Okay. We'll see if, uh... Barry the Dink. Oh, he is a cop, huh? Most of the cops are corrupt in cyberpunk. I guess all the people are corrupt in the future. What it looks like. Alright, maybe I can just teleport. Hold up. Teleporting was way faster, so... Talk to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. I cry out loud, Mendez. Make sure your implant is always the latest model. Barry's in a great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny. The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Bad's life too well. He made fun of him. So he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise, his best friend, a memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. You want proof? Niche in the columbarium speaks for itself. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about the tortoise like it was a normal person. I just think Mendez would react if Barry admitted that he was talking to animals. Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. <sighs> I gotta go and talk to him. Oh, the friend he About died time. was actually a tortoise. Thanks okay. for your help. This is for your trouble. Got some money from this or street bread? Okay. 8,000 euro dollars. Cool. Yeah, his only friend was a tortoise. I already told you, you ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board. So it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. That little kid's t-shirt, green, with this funny yellow cat. Damn. Damn. Okay. Um, I couldn't get in. Hold up. Got another dry, sun filled week coming your way, night. Wait. But so How come I can get it? You can. There's a cold. Oh, whatever. Prepare for cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. Let's see what else I could do. Big race. But, alright, I 
I think I'll leave that for next time. Hey folks, um, the screen here. Yeah, folks, I think, uh, that'll be the end of the stream for tonight. Um, kind of did some side mission about a train robbery with uh, Pan Am. I think there's a rift between Saul, uh, and her, uh, I guess the people there at Aldecaldos too, um, Saul and Pan Am, so interesting to know what will happen there. Um, yeah, I think V starting to like Pan Am, so some little bit of romance going on, and uh, we're also trying to, I think, unravel and get revenge for, um, revenge for Evan Parker. So, it's that side quest. And then there's uh, it's helping this neighbor of mine who happens to be a cop and he's depressed and his best friend was a tortoise tortoise make sure your um yeah handcuffed another of my neighbors here i don't know if they're gonna kill him or what i don't know he's been handcuffed for a while every time i come here he's always like that but, but yeah so this is kind of stuff that's happening after takimura I wanted to talk to Hanako, but I, I didn't for that because it, it stopped me. He said uh, I can't be able to do the side missions after that or something. So I'm doing all these little side missions first. And, um. Yo, sorry, I was like showing him a screen. Well, I know. As I was talking to you, this is what I was talking about. There's another neighbor of mine, he's always on the floor. I don't know if the police were shooting or something, but Enjoying the weather. every single time, he's just always there, handcuffed, but hasn't changed. Maybe I'll look into it and need to talk. Yeah, let's just find out if I could talk to him or something. Had enough of punks like you. Back it up. All right, all right. Anyway. Guys have been there forever. All right, back to this. So, I guess it's enough of, um, you know, I wasted a lot of time because the game kept kept crashing. Hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll play around with the settings again. It wasn't crashing for some reason and stabilized in the end for some reason. So, um, I'll leave it here. I'll save the game here. And uh, we'll carry on the missions next time. This is Matt Gamer. See you all next time. Enjoying the weather? Average temperature.